arms are a bit, of course, you know, just smaller, and I'd say legs are a bit more of a, of a mass, you know. So let's try and break it down to, again, just lines and shapes. And again, that's all it is, you know. And there's all the joints. This is the elbow. This is the wrist. You know, this is, you know, the shoulder. I kind of start the shape. That's about the shape that you're looking for. Now, let's move on to the leg, which is the same thing. It's just, again, it's just, just like a cylinder. Okay, but it's a bit more like on the bigger side here. Okay, the same thing. Three. And let's put one going, going back. Okay, so you got one just going down, one just going back. So again, you got three, three claws here. Let's make this one go maybe in a bit, maybe just tighter. This one has been going down. This one a bit also kind of tighter. So let's break down a claw now. So a claw, again, you just have like a circle, three fingers attached. They should all be about the same kind of distance, you know? One can't be here and one can't be over here, just the same kind of like distance, you know, just for now. It's easier if it goes more out because if it comes back in again, just like this, it looks just too, it's too boring. You know, you have to have some kind of like emotion in claws, you know, that way. It, it, I mean, it just looked more interesting, you know, just having it more, I guess, dynamic. So this one's going out. This one's going back and out. This one we can make this one go out and back as well. 